Jack Byrne. As well to retain possession. Inside of him is his fullback, Trevor Clark. Faced by Tilly. It's a cross in. McNulty has to beat that away. Just picks out Dylan Watts. That's a chance to get the cross in. And it's diverted wide. And it's at the expense of the corner. Good early pressure from Sean McRovers. Bulger picks out Joey O'Brien. Plenty of encouragement from the Shamrock Rovers manager. Back to Bulger, ex-Cork City player. Playing his trade in Dublin with Shamrock Rovers. Over this near side to pick out Clark. Clark with the cross. Oh, it's clipped the crossbar. Was that a cross? Was that a shot? Anyway, Cork City survived. Headed on by Shepard. Look at the watch from Stephen Bradley. Cork City really haven't been a factor in this opening half. Going to create something here. This is Tilly. Darrell O'Connor didn't know much about that. It's fallen for Carl Shepard. Shepard. Oh, he would like to score against his former club. It remains at nil nil. Still no goals. Six minutes into the second half. Oh, Clark has seen an awful lot of the ball in this game. Been excellent so far. Finds his captain Finn. There's Clark again. Finn is outside of him. Kept the run going well. The Hoops captain. Trying to get the back post is Joey O'Brien. Oh, what a finish. Joey O'Brien. It's his first league goal of the season. And the Hoops lead. Lopez. This is Finn. That's clever work by Ronan Finn. Oh, that's a strong challenge by Sean McLaughlin. He's going to get a yellow card there, no doubt about that. Free kick for Shamrock Rovers. Byrne with the signal. Puts it in towards the back post. The men are up from the back. And one of those, Joey O'Brien, with a good header down with header two. Good save in the end by Mark McNulty at the expense of a corner. Going to be taken by Byrne out on that left hand side. And looking at the back post is Lopez. And Shamrock Rovers double their advantage in the 61st minute. And on the balance of play, they deserve it. And the way this game has gone to, you would think that should be it. Shamrock Rovers lead 2 0. Tilly. This is out. This is Shepard. Shepard into Tilly again. Has to play in the substitute. Phillips with the cross. And his good strong arm by Alan Manis that prevented the goal. Nothing to do for John Cotter. It's Colin Horgan. Just by Cartwell, gets the ball into the area. Cummins tumbled under the challenge of O'Brien. Referee saw nothing wrong with that, lets the play go on, so a chance for Rovers to break. This is Byrne, picks out Clark. Clark homing in on goal, this is Trevor Clark. Oh, didn't miss by much, what a breakaway goal that would have been. So Rovers on the way to victory here. And clear. Number two by Brandon Cavanagh, that's it. Three wins of the spin now for Shamrock Rovers and no goals conceded. And Tara has finished Shamrock Rovers two. Fox City nil. Yeah, I thought for ha first half we were off a bit. I thought we weren't as uh, sharp um, with the in, in possession and out possession. But I thought second half we were much better and, uh, and controlled the game in the second half. We did, we had a good shape and I think the first goal were kind of out of shape of touch. I think we lose our shape of touch and they punish us to be honest and look, we can't afford to come out after half time giving away soft goals. It's happened a few times already this year and something we need to address.